You know, with that bad crash the other day, something I should have checked that I didn't was the belts. I thought that the the more or less screech, uh, squeal, grind, it, you know, it sounded like a belt slipping. I thought it was the, the small belt, the thin belt that runs around here. Uh, you know, I think it might have been this one. I chewed some teeth off this, and so it's been running fine under light load, but now that I'm trying to cut something a little heavier on these bearing adapters, uh, I was getting this really bad, bum, da, 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 you know, just, it was jumping bad, and it was like, oh, yeah, that happened last time, so, uh, there's no tensioner on there. <laughs> I could up the tensioner and fake it for a little bit, but I think I'll just put a new belt on there. I've still got like five more or something like that, so, let's, uh, let's see if we can get it on there. And the, the oil, ow. the oil doesn't really help either, but, uh, and I should probably clean all the oil off and grease it. Uh, I, I started putting oil in and it didn't dawn on me till later that I should be greasing this uh, instead of oiling it. And so the oiling, oil is uh, slinging. But, you know, hey, if anything, it, uh, it makes this belt slip a little easier so that uh, I don't break something worse right now. Sure, that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right, and it's a whole lot easier to get this pan off since I did that modification. I'll have to look and see if that uh, if I showed that. But since I have such tight space in here, um, uh, it's next to impossible get in there with a wrench from underneath and stuff like that so okay try it again <laughs> 